Hello everybody, my name is Zoe Rebecca. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be going through my Visco. And I think my very first post, yeah, my very first post is a picture of right after I got this tattoo, right after I turned 18. So that was 2021. Yeah, so that was February of 2021. So that was when I first started posting on Visco. I believe I had other pictures before that, but it was like only a couple and it was like really old pictures that I just deleted and started fresh with that one but ever since then I have been posting very consistently on my visco and because I've always posted very consistently on my visco and yeah my very first post was February 24th 2021 just letting you know that's the date but because I've always been really into documentation with the visual formats like photography and videography like YouTube and I've also used visco very consistently and I also taken a lot of pride in my aesthetic of it I have pretty much posted like every single picture I take on there and it has like, you know, it's been documenting so much of my life for the past almost three years through photography that I would just go through it with you guys. And I'm like scrolling down to the very bottom right now on my phone. And I'm just gonna go through it with you guys and kind of just show you my Visco aesthetic and show you the vibes, show you all the photos, show you all of the stories, not maybe not share every single story behind every single picture, but just kind of share some of the memories associated with some of the pictures. Also, I'm very proud of of the maintenance of my aesthetic and my feed of my visco. I think that I've been pretty good with my maintenance of it. So I'm pretty proud of that. And I wanted to share it with you guys, especially considering that it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. I figured you guys might want to look at it. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I just started screen recording my phone. So we're at the very bottom now. Like I said, my very first post is just a picture like when I first got this tattoo when I was like just after I turned 18. There's a selfie. I look. I look okay. The filter. I used to be really into filters. Like I'm still into filters, but not like really intense filters like this. There's some Juice World. Rest in peace. I've always been a big fan of Juice World. Used to be like more vocal about how much I loved him, and I used to listen to his music more than I do now. But I still love him. There's some positive vibes there. There's just some more selfies here. Yeah, I figured there was gonna be a bunch of selfies. This girl, I'm not like really friends with anymore. I just don't really talk to her anymore. Same thing with her. It's not that we, anything happened between us. It's just I moved away basically and I don't really talk to many people in Pennsylvania. Oh, this is different. My Apple Music replay for 2021. <laughs> I don't listen to rap at all anymore. Like literally at all except for some Juice World. Sometimes I mainly listen to Taylor Swift and Gracie Abrams, Olivia Rodrigo, Phoebe Bridgers, female singer-songwriter type musicians. Not really rap anymore so this is quite different. And I also use Spotify and I don't use Apple Music anymore. Here is my brother and my dog. This is not long after we got her. You can see that she's pretty small. She's much bigger now. I mean, she's still she was still big when we first got her. This is like when she was like a couple months old. She's a little over two now. So she is almost the same weight as me now. Here's me taking a weird picture of my bathroom mirror standing on the toilet with my dog on the floor. Here's some SoundCloud stuff, some Juice World unreleased music. Here's Jeebs, more Juice World and Ally. That didn't age well. More Juice World, plus 420, so that's cool. Here's this, this is my back, so if you didn't know I have really severe scoliosis, I feel like sometimes you can even see that like I look lopsided because I am. My whole body is lopsided, fun fact. Oh, my cute little puppy. That's a good picture that I took. Here's me and Zach. We were just smoking. There's some more stuff. This is, I think this was Philly. Yeah. Yeah, this is on the train. This is like literally the day after my grandfather died. My grandfather died on New Year's Day of 2022. So I posted a picture for him. And there's Theo's cat, Polly, who's at home. We miss him very much. Theo sometimes really misses his cat and I feel bad. And I really miss my dog too. But we're going back for Thanksgiving, which today is the 10th. So we'll be back fairly soon just to visit for Thanksgiving and see our family, see our pets and celebrate Thanksgiving. My dad was gracious enough to get us plane tickets. So that's, yeah. This was a blog I made a the blogs blogger, blog spot, whatever account, and I posted some articles on there, so I was promoting it. Here's some like aesthetic pictures here. And then here is me and my bomb. Here is the wizard that my grandfather gave me. Here's Kaya right after she had to get spayed, so that's why she's got that thing around her neck. Yeah, this is around my foot, which I thought was cute. There's just some like, you know, aesthetic pictures, lots of Kaya. Theo took this picture and I thought it was cute and funny, so I posted it. More Juice World, of course, aesthetic, 
weed pictures and all that stuff. Like I've just always been very proud of this whole feed and how I've like managed to like keep the colors and like filter and like fade kind of continuous and like fading into a different kind of theme. This is when I first started getting into like female singer songwriter kind of music. That's Cheap Flowers by Lexi Jade. This is some stuff here. My dad sent me this weed. Th weed this me and i thought it was funny so i posted it same thing with this one this picture is actually me directing when i did the short film when i was going into my sophomore years this was the summer and this, so this was 20 18 yeah this was 2018 and i was directing some of my scenes Fuck. i was directing some of my scenes from the short film that i made over that summer if you guys remember i did post a couple videos from like back then a couple behind the scenes things from back then if any of you guys have been around that long but yeah that was a little collage i made of a director in her element if you saw the caption <laughs> i hate the, that visco does that though that i have to scroll all the way back down when i do something here is some weed stuff some weed aesthetic stuff this was when i had a mustang as a rental car because my car i think Think, I forget what happened. My car at the time, something happened either with the transmission, the engine, the tire, I don't remember, but it was something significant where I couldn't drive the car until it was fixed. And I got a rental car, a Mustang. Technically it wasn't my rental car because I'm not 25. It was my under my mom, but I had to drive it because this was for my car that needed to be fixed. So yeah, I thought the Mustang was cool and I wanted to take aesthetic pictures in the Mustang. Why does it keep doing this? <laughs> okay, from now on, I'm just not even gonna like go into the pictures because it just keeps making it go back to the top and me making me scroll down again. So that's annoying. Anyway, here's like a conversation that my dad and I had that I thought was cool. It was just some support messages I got from friends at the time. Here's some more support messages. I like to post like cute little messages that are like really loving or supportive that I get from friends or family just because I don't know. I just think it's positive and optimistic. And it's a good reminder for me that sometimes people don't give a shit about me. Wow. These are two pictures pictures of me from when I was a little baby. It was my grandpa and there's my dad and the cat that my parents had. They got that cat like before I was born and it died when I was one, unfortunately. He was blind. Yeah, here's Kaya wanting my food. I love this picture of Kaya. Here's just some, I like to just post like aesthetic pictures a lot and weed aesthetic pictures, like, you know, nature, hippie, boho aesthetic pictures, like aesthetic pictures of my dog and my room and myself and stuff like that. Here's like a stuffed penguin in my hood. Theo took this picture of me driving and this picture too which is like my face in the rear view mirror like that there's a, like a whiteboard here of a list of goals i made because that was like at the beginning i think of 2023 this is like a license plate with zrf 7033 which is my initials and seven and three are my favorite numbers so i took a picture of that this was right before my birthday so my dad like got some like sort of alert about my birthday coming up and sent it to me so i thought that was cute that he sent me that i posted it yep here's like my birthday post yeah the mic this is when i worked at starbucks so i took some aesthetic pictures in the starbucks and of the starbucks this was like an instagram caption this whole like block of text here is an instagram caption from when i had to go to a facility and it didn't work out very well i wound up with this broken foot as you can see this is me like you know this is on the plane i was going down actually to miami from pennsylvania for eating disorder treatment the place didn't work out i don't know if you guys remember me talking about this the facility didn't work out and i broke my foot there and went home the next Day. So I had a broken foot for a little bit. So that was fun. <laughs> you can see my boot in some of these pictures. Cause I did have like the post-op boot for a bit and crutches. And then I had like a boot, like a big bulky boot for a while. But you can't see it in a lot of these pictures cause I don't like to show off my feet, I guess. Oh, this is the Franklin Institute. Theo and I went to Philly. I'm scrolling down again, but yeah, I'm just scrolling through. There's some memes. There's like, you know, my bowels of the borderline. The first cover of it I had more weed aesthetic stuff more puppy aesthetic stuff <laughs> i love this mickey mouse picture flowers and a corona jar that's not a jar that's a bottle that's a beer bottle zoe what is going on up here today this is when theo and i went to this i told you guys about this before we used to go to the, in the middle of pennsylvania to this place called reese town lake where we'd go to cabins with his family i guess they were like lodges not cabins lodges but yeah we would go to these lodges and hang out for a probably like it was usually like three to five days we would go because it was like three hours away but yeah 
area. Here's some pictures that I took in a field with cows in the background. <laughs> Here's a rainbow, some more of me, some poetry. I also use my Visco obviously to promote myself. I post screenshots and I'll like throw filters on them to make them more aesthetically pleasing of like, you know, screenshots of my poetry that I post or articles or YouTube videos, whatever. My published book, see when I went to the zoo, my puppy, see when I went to DC for New Year's. This was New Year's 2023. See when I went to New Year's, went to DC for New Year's. I cannot talk. For some purple aesthetic, I did this thing where I was like going through like color aesthetics where I was just finding like aesthetic pictures online of different colors and I was like fading into different ones. So here's purple and then there's like other random pictures. And then there's like the nine out of 10 Taylor Swift songs and one Billie Eilish song on my top 10 from the last six months starting with January 17th. Cause yeah, you can see I got really into Taylor Swift. Like it was probably a little before Midnight's came out actually. I got really into her and then I got like fully obsessed and like became a full blown Swifty like really fast and like went through all her music and like memorized all the lyrics and stuff like really quickly and got like super obsessed. So you can see it going from Juice World to Taylor Swift like on my disco. I also Post like little snippets as you can see of like poetry or song lyrics that I write. You can see there's a bunch of my poetry on here and song lyrics from Taylor Swift songs because she's such a good lyricist. That cute picture of my papita. Oh yeah, here's the like pink aesthetic and then like here's the red aesthetic. Like and then there's like red by Taylor Swift there. And then there's a couple pictures and then the yellow aesthetic and then the green aesthetic. And then there's like the blue aesthetic here. There's like these pictures and then the blue aesthetic and then back to the purple. So yeah, I, I did that for a little bit and this is when I first got my car So I wanted to show that off and this was my 20th birthday. The other one was my 19th birthday I got it confused <laughs> and then here's some more just aesthetic pictures of the sunrise and sunset I love those kind of pictures and these stickers I designed myself You guys can go buy them too. I have a bunch of tagged products on all my YouTube videos You guys are free to buy whenever but yeah, so I like to promote that in that aesthetic way This is when metamorphosis came out and I was showing that off and and then whenever new music comes out, I get super excited about it. And I'll like share lyrics. Does that go in a like a little bin that we saw at the zoo? This is when we went to the Gracie Abrams concert. Yeah, so there's just a bunch of aesthetic pictures here and song lyrics, me promoting my shit, my podcast and my YouTube channel, my poetry, Metamorphosis album, my books here. And I like to not just like throw it all in there as you can see and I'm like spacing it out with like, you know, regular pictures of my life in between the promotional aspects. And I think that's a more palpable, tangible approach. And then there's, you know, more lyrics and more pictures of me and more pictures of aesthetic stuff. This is when I got my hair done and my friend who did my hair, who's a hairdresser back in Pennsylvania. This is when I went to the Spotify Labs in Brooklyn. I think it was Brooklyn. There's Polly again. There's Kaya. There's some, some playlists I made. This is when I came down here for the tour of the school first before I actually moved down here. I came down here in June. And this is some pictures from then. And then I didn't post on here for a little bit and then there's just some random pictures from the couple months I didn't post on here much here and then I posted a little bit more right before I moved and then this was on the September 6th picture we were on the auto train so that picture of Theo and Kaya is the last picture on here that I took in Pennsylvania and then here's the rest of this is uh, okay at least it's not that far down the rest of this is from after we moved here so here is some you know pictures of Theo picture we took at the pool some pictures of the apartment just me some more promotional stuff. Went to the Aerosaur movie, so I wanted to post about that. The Mac book I got, which I thought was really cool. My single covers, more aesthetic pictures and pictures of music and Taylor Swift and just, you know, stuff like that. Here's a friend I made in school and some more, more stuff. And here's some pictures that that friend from school took for me. And I took some of her too. And there's just some more random pictures of me up here. And yeah, so that's basically it for my Visco. I just really thought, I thought it would be a fun idea to just go through it with you guys. My collection's not that much. It's just Oh, actually it's more than I thought. Okay, that's that's it. But this is my collection. It's just some friend stuff and aesthetic stuff. And then I got a membership not too long ago. So I made a couple spaces. I have Nature Boho Aesthetic. I'm not gonna go too in depth with all of those cause they're just pictures that I already showed you mainly. The Nature Boho Aesthetic, Mary J all day and Taylor Swift Aesthetic and selfies. So this is just selfies of me. So yeah, that's basically going through my Visco. And I have also a link to my link tree because my link tree has all my links in one place. If you guys wanna go check that out. So basically that's gonna be it for this 
video is going to be it for going through my visco i hope you guys enjoyed going through the, that journey with me and looking through all of those pictures i know that i kind of just scrolled through it and like was talking about like random shit that was associated with the pictures and i don't know i don't know if you guys will even find this interesting but i hope you do and my camera battery is going to die very soon so i'm gonna end this video here if you liked it give it a big thumbs up make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell and share this video and my channel to those you think might be interested and leave me comments down below make sure you guys leave me suggestions for other videos you want to see make sure you guys check out all my music coming out and that has come out already i'm zoe i'm lonely has already come out the other two songs are coming out very soon retrospection and this relationship are the two new songs that are going to be coming out soon and make sure you guys get copies of my, both my books my memoir battles on the borderline and my poetry book and erotic anthology my psychology make sure you guys follow me on all my social medias snapchat is zoe frenchman instagram is zoe r frenchman tiktok is zoe rf 420 and twitter is zoe rebecca f so yeah that's gonna be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye